ओम यो ब्रह्माण विदधाति पूर्वम यो वै वेदाश्च प्रगिणोति तस्मै तम ह देवमात्म बुद्धि प्रकाशम मुमुक्षुर्वै शरणमम प्रपद्ये ओम शांत शांत शांति ओम नमो ब्रह्मादिभ्यो ब्रह्म विद्या संप्रदाय कर्तृभ्यो वंशरिषिभ्यो महाद्यो नमो गुरुभ्यः सर्वोपप्लवरहितः प्रज्ञानघनः प्रत्यगर्तो ब्रह्मैवावस्मि ब्रह्मैवावस्मि वेदांतार्थ विभासकाय गुरवे शांताय सन्यासिने नानावादीनकेंद्र संगपवये योगींद्र वंद्याय च मोहद्वात्त दिवाकराय भगवत पादाभिधाम विभ्रते तस्मै भाष्यकृते नमोस्तु सततम पूर्णाय बोधात्मने सर्वतंत्र स्वतंत्राय सदात्मात्वैत वेदिने श्रीमते शंकराय वेदांत गुरवे नमः श्रेयोवतीर्ण इहाचार्य रूपेण जतीना मुदे श्रीमन्नारायण वंदे तम हरिं करुणानिधि मननाख्यं प्रकरणं वासुदेवयतीश्वरे रचितं विस्तरेणाद्य संग्रहेण प्रकाश्यते बालानां पकाराय मम विज्ञान सिद्धये तत्र श्री बाल गोपाल कृष्ण सन्निहितो Now this common complaint that we have understood actually this complaint is not common okay what common people have is they have not yet done the proper instruction also what they have is apataha jnanam apata jnanam means it is it is only superficially held okay apatata and then you have found well what is said by the upanishad indeed makes sense for example when the upanishad is going to tell you that your dukham is nothing but the sense of incompleteness and that is called as dukha this sense of incompleteness is resting on the self on i and therefore even dukham is also resting on i so dukha is not experienced as this is dukham you know like a cup of tea then how do you experience dukham dukham is where is that thing gone dukham is experienced as aham dukhi only where is uh, the proof of dukham other than the experience aham dukhi so you, you cannot say well this is dukham this is a cup of the uh, tea this is a cake like that this is dukham can you bring and show some dukham like that 
or does it even become available to you to say that this is dukkham like some manas pratyayas okay correct so aham dukhi is the only in ahamakar rupa only the dukkham will come so where is the sense of incompleteness which you call as dukkham it is resting on the self aham i am i am incomplete then the sense of incompleteness you want to remove by getting some uh, you know getting married having money getting children having a good name and people respecting you and respectable life and all those things Uh, is this thing or even uh, after the death of this body then you go to swarga lok and over there you are being respected even by the uh, you know swarga swargas devatas etc is that all which is going to remove the sense of incompleteness as long as the sense of incompleteness is going to be there so long the kham is going to be there so when this is seen and then the upanishad says now therefore know that atma is brahman purnam so all that is given to you is now to know because the sense of incompleteness is not truly your own nature if it was your nature you would not fight against it like swimming in water is the nature of the fish fish does not struggle to come out of the water to, to to survive in fact if it is pulled out of water then it is going to be against its nature for which there is going to be a struggle so fish doesn't struggle to be in water when in water but rather if is out of water there will be struggle so that what is natural is not something that you are going to resist okay that cannot be resisted or you are not going to be against it so if the sense of incompleteness was truly your nature incompleteness why would you struggle to get rid of it so that very fact proves that you cannot call this sense of incompleteness now which is expressing as jivatva as uh, you know all these uh, aham karta aham ta etc and all this is there for what avidya kritam is because of avidya is because of ignorance and therefore by knowing atma is brahman ignorance can be can, is destroyed and when ignorance is destroyed the sense of incompleteness dukham which is due to ignorance also goes away now and so how do you get that knowledge also through the tapasya that vakya becomes the karana pramakara theek hai now up to this point even if a person has known and appreciated he is going to say well vedanta indeed is something that cannot be denied under the sun correct it is not some belief system you believe in our god or that god or this god or real god or prophet or this prophet is real prophet or not and a prophet who does some chamatkar is called as real prophet or a prophet who comes with a sword is called as real prophet a prophet and all this business is once and for all dumped down the basket you see so therefore now you say vedanta is something that that i understand and i feel it is i can see it is true but after some time then this person also says 
Atma is Brahman. That I that that's that is acceptable. But I cannot accept. I cannot experience I am Brahman or somehow I I do not feel that you know there are several doubts and it looks almost impossible that how can Atma be Brahman, right? So thus the knowledge seems to be locked up. The knowledge seems to be locked up. What do you mean by knowledge is locked up? If that knowledge was not to be locked, it would have destroyed the ignorance and you would be perfectly in the state of Jivan Mukti, Videha Mukti, whatever. But I do not find. And therefore now by the force of this, I have to say that there is some pratibandha in the knowledge. There is some obstacle in the knowledge. What is that obstacle? So then we have seen it is called as samshaya bhavana, asam bhavana and viparita bhavana. Correct? So now for whom will all these be there? For the one who has apata jnanam and shraddha. The one who does not have shraddha in the Vedanta Shastra. For him, this, this is not going to be the problem. For his problem is going to be some different. But if you have Shraddha in the Vedanta Shastra, in the Shruti, then, then you are going to see, well, my problem presently is this. That I somehow am not able to really come to the conclusion that does Vedanta really say Atma is Brahman? And even if the Vedanta has said Atma is Brahman, how can this Atma, which perpetually seems to be of the nature of Karta and Bhukta, or Kartratvam and Bhuktratvam seems to be its nature, how can this Atma be called as Brahman, Puranavastu? Correct? And then, what happens to this world? <laughs> What is the status of this world? So there are several doubts and impossibilities. So the knowledge is as though infested with these doubts and impossibilities. Finally, there is also that why am I not experiencing? Okay, why is there not? Because Brahman alone experiences I am Brahman. Who else is going to experience I am Brahman? Huh? The one who says his experiences, I am Brahman, is Brahman only. And that's why Brahma with Brahma Hiva Bhavati. <laughs> Somebody, you, I cannot say I am Bhaskar. But if Bhaskar says I am Bhaskar, is that wrong? <laughs> so therefore, when this I is Brahman, and when I see this I, I as Brahman, and I am Brahman, when I say, where is what is wrong? As much as I can say, so much as so, so well, you can say that. Because wherever there is going to be the pratiti of ahamasmi, with that there will be aham, who knows me, aham brahmasmi will also be there. So, how can there be so many Brahman and not so many Brahman and all? Wherever there is a pratiti of aham, that is going to be with aham brahmaiti. So that does not make even Brahma as any. Got it? Huh. So these people who are saying all such things. That how? So everybody is Brahman and how can? As if that, you know, there is only no, one person is entitled to call himself Brahman. What? Then somebody came up with that one philosophy, okay? Not philosophy. These are all whims and fancies. Okay, it does not have any shruti support. It is indeed true that such a mahatma is durlabha. Vasudevam, Vasudeva sarvamiti. Sarvam. 
समात्मा सुदुर्लभ the one who sees not that, that everything is parmeshwara alone such a mahatma and that's why because he sees he is mahatma and because he sees he is a mahatma and such a mahatma is durlabha he is not a mahatma because he wears special kind of clothes and you know he has got some uh, the, the, the three stripes of asma and all that we do it because shastra has asked us to do and there should be bhasma there should be rudraksh so on and so forth uh, okay you are doing so many things might as well use bhasma keep it because that is what shastra has said have bhasma and rudraksh you do and what is so this is not some somebody gave this is spiritual fashion anyway i i, I will not some other topic so now this fellow has come up it is indeed that is durlabha मनुष्याणाम सहस्रेश दुर्लभ बट देन दे हैव कम अप विथ एन एक्सैक्ट नंबर ऑल्सो हाउ दुर्लभ एट एनी गिवन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम देर आर ओनली फोर महात्मा ब्रह्मज्ञान इज इन दिस वर्ल्ड नाउ दे हैव प्रॉपर नंबर ऑल्सो एंड आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क दम फ्रॉम वेर डिड यू गेट दिस नंबर At time of Sri Krishna, there is Vyas, Shuka, Krishna, all of these people, the Tadra, etc. Everybody is sitting there. All these rishis are there. They're what? They're what? Not very many Jainis or what? <laughs> Only four are there. And then they will give the names of. They have a list also. Who should be all Brahmins? This, his nose is little nice, sir. This, this looks like Brahmins, Jaini. and they have you know in their vicinity only they will have these four people who are protecting the four quarters of the world yeah what what quarters and they are they they these four have got this you know powerful connections and they decide how to protect the world what some superman film or what you are doing protecting the world and all this parmeshwar is doing it now uh, So now they are assisting Parmeshwara because Parmeshwara has become very old. Hmm. Yeah. What are they doing? They get some number. Mm -hmm. Maharaj Ji was asked once from Yakanda Ji Maharaj. Somebody asked Maharaj Ji said that person wrote a letter, and seventeen, eighteen names he put in that of all Mahatmas that he knew. Mahamandishwar Ji, Mahamandishwar. So everybody's name so many people. And there are nothing to say about their own good mahatmas. So this fellow said, Maharaj Ji, in this list, how many people can we call as Brahmanjani? <laughs> so you all that you have to do is just uh, make a tick. If you certify them, these are Brahmanjani. We will we will worship them. We will keep their photos in our puja room. Otherwise, if you don't click them and we have kept, we'll keep it outside. So, <laughs> Maharaj Ji wrote back. Maharaj Ji said, "In this world, there is only one Brahmachari, and that is you. If you are or you are not, that is all. Because where is the pratiti of aham for you? There only, and that is Brahman. Yeah, that is known or not known is the only question." And there were how many Brahmanjanis are you going to find? That one. No, they are special. You know, all these Mahatmas have a conference at night. I went when you know in this place in Andhra Pradesh, somebody took me. Then they had this that Mahatma was a jata jute and everything, and uh, these people had a lot of faith in him. I think he passed away now. I guess he's passed away. Then Baba. Then he on his wall in that uh, uh, thing, he had uh, all the Mahatmas uh, uh, pictures properly kept over there on the wall. 
then he had some uh, things. Anybody who comes, now some people will come. If there is somebody, some shisha is going to come. Na? See, your guru is sitting on the wall. At night, all of them come down and we have a meeting. Why, why is sitting on the wall? He is a Spider-Man. Why make him sit like No, they all come down from that photo like that. And then we all have a conference here. And then we decide what is going to be the fate of this earth. Oh, like some... Huh? What? Nothing. So that is it. So that aham pratiti, wherever is there, it is going to be. And therefore, this person says, well, understood that Atma is Brahman. And Advaitam, but this aham, Jiva, I am this body, or I am the Karta Bhukta, this feeling doesn't seem to abate. It doesn't seem to go back. Recede. Fade out. And therefore, he is kind of now desperate. Now, with these three bhavanas, that knowledge seems to be locked up. Had that knowledge not to have these shackles, these three types of chains, the knowledge would go and destroy the ignorance. So, now therefore, he says, where is it? He says, ah, Pratibandha katrayam cha samshaya bhavana sambhavana adita bhavana cha iti. Rigadi shakhasu uparishyamanam. Did we do this yesterday? Rigadi shakhasu uparishyamanam uparayanadi karma yatha aneka vidham. Now there is Veda. And this Veda, Rantha, uh, 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 Veda Vyasa, has divided this one body of Veda into four Vedas. Okay, in the four Vedas. Now, each Veda will have several shakhas. Okay? This is nice. Now, as long as you can go with this. this is several shakhas. Are you people able to see me or not? Yes. Yes, yes so we are able to see. Okay. Now, as long as this battery is able to support, we, uh, we will continue. Once this goes away, then uh, uh, one Ram will look after it. Yes, <laughs> Then, Rigadi Shakas, so like that, there are several Shakas. Now, in each shakha, there is an Upanishad belonging to that shakha. Got it? That's why there are several Upanishads belonging to one Veda. Why? Because there are several shakhas, branches. But each branch, you can be Rigvedi, Shakal Shakhi, and some, some other shakha and all that. Now, the way you do your Upanayanati karma will differ from one shakha to another shakha. Okay? There, there are bound to be these differences. and this, So, it is not that way. You do this, this is wrong. If in the same shakha it is done differently, then you can be wrong. But if you are in a different shakha, belongs to a different way, then it is, it is going to be correct. If you have heard how these... Uh, uh, you know, Shukla Ayurvedi people in the North India chant the Veda as against how the Vaidhik mantras of these uh, Krishna Ayurvedis are chanted in the South. Correct? There is a difference. So, not that what is being chanted by the North Indians is wrong. The Shukla is the way the Nathya is mostly followed. In South India also, 
you know, if people do not know, they will follow invariably Krishna Jurveda Taitariya Shaka. They do. Uh, so the mantras are the same, but they are chanted differently. So don't stand over there to say, oh, this is correct, that is wrong. No, both of them are correct because both of them are according to their own shakas. shakas. Now what happens is, so there is a doubt. Just as every shakha has a different way of doing their karma, so also every shakha has got its own Upanishad. Then every... And then that Upanishad of one Shaka may be saying Atma is Brahman, whereas the Upanishad belonging to my Shaka may say Atma is a part of Brahman. Upanishad belonging to your Shaka may be saying that you are not at all Brahman. Correct? So there is this doubt that my Upanishad is saying that Atma is Brahman, but your Upanishad could be saying something different. And therefore, now, as Veda is the Pramanam, the whole body of Veda is a Pramanam. You cannot say only my Shaka is Pramanam and your Shaka is not Pramanam. And therefore, now there may be a clash between your Shaka and my Shaka because my Upanishad says Atma is Brahman, your Upanishad says is not Brahman. And therefore now, there is a Samshaya that what exactly is Veda wanting to say is Atma Brahman or not Brahman. So he, because I belong to my own Veda and my Shaka, I have not studied your Veda and your Upanishad. Correct? So now this doubt is going to be, this is a legitimate doubt in me that maybe in my shark height is like this, but in your shark height could be different. So there is a doubt. So this is called as Samshaya Bhavana. Okay. And this is called as Samshaya, Bha Samshaya Bhavana. Look at that. Evam. Rigadi Shaka Su Bhishamanam Upanayanati Karma. So there are these every shaka has its own karma. And for example, there is Upanayana Karma, the third ceremony. Yathane Kavidam is that's why you have differences in the customs. So the Vaidikas only will have different customs in different places. Why? Because Shaka Bheda. What is the reason? Shaka Bheda is the Reason. Yatha aneka vidham, karma yatha aneka vidham, tatha rigadi shakasu padishamanam, atma tatvam api aneka prakaram, va nova iti samshayaha, samshaya bhavana. So also maybe, Upanishads also at different places, maybe telling different types of atma, because for you in that shaka, for you, that is okay. For me, this is okay. So, tum tumhari jage thik, mein meri jage thik. Lekin ye tum tumhari jage thik, mein meri jage thik bolne se koi nirnay to nahi na hua. Vastu vishay conclusion to nahi na hua. You, you see? Ye jalan jalao. So, so, so you see, ye tum tumare jage thik, main mere jage thik is, is, is a nice thing. But now this is not a niranaya, na? So you do what you like, I do what I like, that is okay for karma. But whether this is a rope or a snake, this niranaya has to be done. Because it is vastu oh, I I will eat this and you will eat that. Okay, that's fine. Because I am a Gujarati, I am supposed to eat Dhokla, you are uh, uh, South Indian, you are supposed to eat Idli. Okay, eat. 
बट दैट इज नॉट निश्चय अबाउट वस्तु न इट इज रिगार्डिंग कर्म विथ वेन इट कम्स टू वस्तु निश्चय वस्तु निर्णय यू कैनॉट से वॉट आई लाइक इज ओके एंड यू ऑल्सो लाइक इज ओके लाइकिंग एंड ऑल इज ओके you know there was this shisham gadi swami dhananand ji used to live here and dhananand ji said a very nice thing he said now my my brother in law my wife's brother he said 4 plus 4 is 5 you know he said now i can accommodate this person you know he is unemployed or he needs to get a job and so i can accommodate him in my house but if he is going to say that that is not acceptable that i cannot accommodate that does not mean that i will push him out of my house because he is saying five all that i will have to say that he doesn't know so now accepting that person does not mean accepting what he is saying you see so there is a difference so i don't have to become hateful towards that person because he is saying something different than me that is accommodation that is acceptance that is the udar udarata that is the la large heartedness that has to be there even if it is your dushman and he comes to you for water you should give This is what is taught to us. This is this is why the Kadarma. That's why we are not going to say if you don't accept Atma is Brahman, we will chop your heads off. That's why we are not saying that those who don't accept Atma is Brahman are will fall into hell. We definitely say that he who knows becomes gets free from dukkham, and those who do not know will stay in dukkham. it is a factual statement statement of a fact so there is no cursing and there is no mandate against those people fatwa nahi jari kiya ha so samshaya bhavana is there this is the samshaya bhavana then what happens to bishara bhavana संशय भावना अनेक प्रकार आत्मतत्व अनेक प्रकार न वा प्रकार संशय संशय भाव साउ विल दिस संशय भावना बी इराडिकेटेड सा सकल वेदांत तात्पर्य अवधारण रूप श्रवण न नश्यती नाउ दिस संशय भावना विल गो अवे only when you come to the conclusive understanding about all the upanishads sakala vedant what is the tatparyam of all the upanishads so that means that you that person has to study all the given upanishads at least those which are considered on which the bhashyam is written is to be studied because now that covers all the four vedas and therefore sakala vedanta tatparya avadharan rupa shravanena nashyati kim nashyati samshaya bhavana because that way the which is telling you because there is no other way to know brahman there is no other way to know brahman and therefore who which is the only way upanishad and therefore how it is the upanishad to showing you what brahman is is this is the nirnaya to be done of the tatvarya nirnaya of the upanishads has to be done so tatvarya avadharana roop what is shravanam shravanam is not listening shravanam is not listening Oh, we are listening to your teacher with all our heart. So the heart you keep, but keep your brain open. That is more important. Heart, heart is okay. 
Okay. Wow, with what? Tatparya avadharanam is called as Shravana. In other words, Tatparya nishchaya is called as Shravanam. Tatparya avadharanam is called as Shravanam. And then Tatparya nishchaya is called as Shravanam. Okay. And what is the meaning of the word Tatparyam? Tatparyam means Vakturi Chha. So now over here, there is no Chha of the Vakta because this is Shabda. The Shabda does not have Chha, but Shabda definitely has its own purpose. Artha. And to understand that Artha Tatparyam, where that Shabda is taking you, and nowhere else is called as that. Oh no, there are been several meanings in Sanskrit. No, but over here you have to understand what is intended to be conveyed by the word over here in reference to the context. And it will be singular. So then therefore to come to that conclusive understanding is called as Tatparya. Now over here, no, you know, we can have several meanings to one word. Grammar can do all these things. That is okay. Then Saindhava Manaya. Why several meanings? Just two meanings. You, you know that example, right? Saindhava Manaya. Saindhava in one way means the uh, namak. Salt. Salt. And the horses that came from the Sindhu Pradesh, huh? Afghanistan and that which has gone into Pakistan now, the horses used to be brought for the kings to be sold in the army and all that. Those mm -hmm. horses were considered to be sturdy horses. So those horses that came uh, because they came from the Sindhu Pradesh, from the region of Sindhu, they were called as Saindhava. Okay? So, uh, salt is also called as Saindhava. And a horse is also called as Saindhava. Oh, no, the, this fellow is eating food. And then he says, Saindhava Manaya. It is servant who will bring the top, 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 top. It's gonna, what is this? And that a horse also knows where to do what. So this fellow is eating what the horse does his job there. Top. <laughs> so, so now if several meanings, if you are going to say the word has several meanings and that's why we can use any, any meaning anywhere, will that be justified? No. Though the word has several meanings, at least two meanings in our this context, now you will have to decide that what is the right meaning in this context. So what is the meaning of word Saindhavam in when the person is having food? Bring me some salt. You understand? So there is Tatparya Niranaya. You have and how the Tatparya Niranaya has to be arrived at. So Shruti being Shabda. That Shabda also has its own Tatparya. You cannot give meaning to the Shruti. The Shabda has its own meaning. You don't have to interpret. And that's why Shankara Bhashyam is not interpretation of the Upanishads. So it is not Shankaracharya's interpretation. Why will Shankara... Well, we are not interested in listening to Shankaracharya's version of his his interpretation. We want to know what exactly he should be saying. You see, we are, and therefore Shankaracharya's words to the core are sincere to the Shruti and that, that's why that Bhashram becomes Pramanam. So Shankaracharya is not interpreting the Upanishads. He is simply showing you how that words, how the how to arrive, how those words have their own way of conveying something. 
Shruti's words, right? The, those words of the Shruti, how are, how are they to be understood? How its Tatparyam has to be arrived? Now, if I told, if I tell you that understand Tatparyam of words Saindhavam, when the person is eating food, means salt. Is this my interpretation? Or am I helping you to arrive at the Tatparyam? What is meant by that word Saindhavam in that context? So this is not <laughs> some interpretation. Got it? So therefore, we don't say that Shankaracharya is interpreting the Upanishad. No. Got it? This avadharanam is called as so tatpari avadharanam is called as shravanam. But tatpari avadharanam is and how has tatpari avadharanam sakala vedanta nam tatpari avadhar. It is Tatparya Avadharanam of whose who's Tatparyam? Vedanta Sya. One Upanishad is enough? No. Now, how, what do you require? Sakala Vedanta Tatparya Avadharanam Upashravane Nashyat. Samshaya will be destroyed. Okay. How the Tatparya Nirunaya is to be done is another issue in the next step. But Tatparya Avadharanam needs to be done and has to be done of all the Vedantas. Upanishads are also called as Vedantas. So you can use that word Vedantas in plural. Sakala Vedanta nam Tatparya Vadhana Rupa Shravanena Nashati. Kim Nashati? Samshayam Havana Nashati. Evam Sarvesham Vedanta nam Advaite Brahmani Eva Tatparyam. It is Shravanena. Pramana Vishaye Samshaye Nashtepi. Now this Samshaye is destroyed. That well, all the Upanishads unanimously. Are, uh, mean, they, what do they mean? They mean that Brahman is Advaitam. Advaite Brahmani Tatvaryam Iti Shravanena. Shravanena Samshaya has gone. But that Samshaya was regarding what? Pramanam. Is Upanishad really showing that Atma is Advaita Brahman? So Pramana Vishaye Samshaye Tashtepi. Now you have no doubt that all the Upanishads all together are truly, they mean Atma is Brahman. You know, if what, what would happen if a person dies just after the Shravanam and Maranam and Nirithyasanam is not done, will he attain moksha or not? Hmm? Will he attain moksha? So we are going to say, no, he, sir. Huh? No moksha for them. Ha. Huh. But, huh? There can be Krama Mukti also, but I will tell you some things. He will be born. Such a person is only called as Yoga Bhashta. He is a sannyasi. He is a sannyasi, and that's why if he was to be a grihastha, obviously his karma is there. Why will he become ubhayavrashta? Only a sannyasi who has given up all the karma. Now, for him only there will be this problem or not of ubhayavrashta because the knowledge has not taken place and he is not eligible. He has, he has already given up the karma. So, from that karma, he has already been debarred. And then the knowledge also did not. And that, that's why such a person only is called as yo, Yoga Bhrashta. 
not over a question. What are you saying? This is a some doubt whether he will become over a or not. So he is called as yoga person. person. Then furthermore, uh, Brahmani is the Shravanena Pramana Vishaya Samshaya Nashtepi Idam Advaitam Katham Sambhavyate. How can this Atma be non-dual? One. Because if you were going to tell us that this Atma is one per head, you know, and then they have this all Bindus are going up in that red ball. One month slowly going up. Atma is here. Going up. So you only, now you sit over here and show that Atma how to go. This is their meditation. Huh? Atma should be. But anyway, if people are happy doing it, why should we have? To, to me, all just appears as what is, what is this? So that's why in Shivavahinda Stotra, no, there is, it is said, Ruchi Nam Vai Chetriya Ruju Kutila Nana Pathajusha Mradami Kogamya Stomasi Paya Samarana Trai Samkhyam Yoga Pashupati Matam Vaishnavami Pravinne Prasthane Paramita Mada Pathyamiti Ruchi Nam Vai Chetriya Ruju Kutila Nana Pathajusha Mradami Kogamya Stomasi Paya Samarana now, what happens is that a river leaves the mountain top to reach the ocean. So, also each one of you is born with just one clear objective, and that is to, to, to know Paramatma. Okay. Meshwara is our real goal. Nothing else. You may decide money is my goal, women are my goal, these things. But truly speaking, what is the goal for Meshwara? So also whether the river flows from the eastern face of the mountain, western face of the mountain, northern face of the mountain, or some southern face of the mountain. If it has left that mountain, it has with just one intention and to meet the ocean. But some river will meander and meander and meander and then reach the ocean. Some rivers will not meander so much and will reach the ocean. Some rivers will get lost in the desert and get evaporated and then will be carried by the wind to become the clouds. And this time, if that water which you had left the mountain to meet the ocean, if it is lucky, will fall in the ocean or once again it will fall in the desert and will be evaporated and so on and so forth. You understand? So, ultimate goal of all is knowing Parmeshwara, whether you are a theist, atheist, or whosoever, uh, there is something in between also, no? theist, atheist, and what is that called? Those who do, uh, there is some word, I forget. They are, they, are, they are on the sitting on the fence. Maybe, maybe not. What are they called? Uh, so this is it. Okay. This is it, sir. Then some path is straight and some path is crooked. Ruju and Kutila path is there. So Trai path, the path of the Veda is Ruju. Ruju path. And the path of uh, everything else. Trai, Sankhyam, Yoga, Pashupati, Matam, Vaishnava, Miti. All these are also there. But how are they? Kutila, Ruju Kutila, Nana Patajusha. They are all Kutila paths. 
there is one path which is ruju then naturally you should ask a question that what is simple that what is straight taking you to the goal why why people are not taking it over there pushpadanta acharya simply gives a reply to this question and he says ruchi nam vai chetrya what you may like what one may like you know you may not like something that is simple you need something that is complex ah, then you may hmm this is good ruju kutila na na patha jusha but ultimately nrana me ko gamya to all the people you alone are gamya gamya means the goal you alone are there Nrame ko gamya ha. Like payasam, like for the waters, ocean alone is its home. Gamya ha. All right. So like that. <laughs> Now who where is? Ah, uh, evam sarvesham vedanta na matvayte brahmani tapane miti shravane na pramana vishaye samshaye nashte bhi. इदम अद्वैत कथम संभाव हाउ इज दिस अद्वैत पॉसिबल सत्य प्रिवेटिंग यू फ्रॉम एक्सेप्टिंग दट दिस अद्वैत इज द रियालिटी सत्य प्रतीयम बिकॉज द भेद इज सीन एज रियल वॉट भेद जीव जीव भेद जीव जगद भेद जीव ईश्वर भेद ईश्वर जगद भेद हाउ मेनी फाइव आर कंप्लीटेड Huh? What is that? Jagat Jagat Bheda. You have to put that in the first name. Okay, so all these Bhedas are there. Then, when these Bhedas are seen as real, how can you say that a Bheda is real? So now, his samshaya is not with regarding the pramana. His samshaya is regarding prameyam. When the samshaya is regarding prameyam, that samshaya alone is called as a sambhav. A sambhavna is also samshaya only, basically. But that samshaya is regarding prameya vastu, and that's why it is a sambhavna. It is there. Hmm. सत्यत्वेन प्रतीयमानेशु जीवेश्वर जगत्सु परस्पर भिन्नेशु सत्सु इति बुद्धि ही असंभावना देन हाउ दिस विल गो अवे सो नाउ दिस दिस इज समथिंग दैट विल गो अवे थ्रू हां मननम लॉजिकल एक्सप्लेनेशन यू हैव टू प्रोवाइड योरसेल्फ फॉर ऑल द डाउट्स यम स्वप्त दृष्टांतादि रूप युक्त्यात्मक मन ने स्वप्न जीवेश्वर जगत भेद इज सीन और नॉट इज सीन बट इज दर एनी भेद वाय बिकॉज दैट वॉट वॉज भिन्न 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 इज ऑल मिथ्या एंड अल्टीमेटली that with the very substratum on which all these bhedas are seen that is real with the bhedas that are bheda is not real but that in which the bheda is seen is real so where are all these bhedas seen in the knowledge in that knowledge means in that awareness that consciousness is real consciousness is one and that is what is the is atam okay ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमीद पूर्णा पूर्ण मुद्क्ष पूर्ण से पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओं शाति शात शाति शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाषित वंदे भगवतरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभाजने व्योम व्याप्तदेहाय दक्षिण ये नम ओ
नम पार्वती पत हर 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 महाते Uh, so you know you people uh, those who have are here i'm just telling you that send me your addresses and i will courier you these uh, you know small pamphlets distribute it amongst your relatives friends and people who are interested to can take up the yajmanship get it done for them all right thank you very much